Hello! Hello, AOS fans! It's the Agents of Beast Grave. Who are you bringing tonight, Pete? I'm bringing the worms back. And I'm bringing the Condemners. Mm -hmm. Game two. Dos. We've got yep. one in the bag. Yep. Second one coming. Yep, here we go. Yep. Um, I'm equally confident about this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just feel like both of these warbands, right now in the meta as it stands, small size warbands that are slow mm. suck in a lot of ways when you compare them to Grimwatch. And I think that might just be because Grimwatch are quite overpowered rather than maybe these guys are underpowered. Well, as I, mean, I may find out differently, but as I stated in the first game, I don't think Condemners really have anything going for them. They're not as good as most of the aggro warbands. They're certainly not as good as the objective-controlling warbands. I think they're a hard sell. They're a hard sell. They're a hard sell. They're a hard they, sell. They, lack, they lack range. Yeah. They lack very many... Do they have a scything attack, even? I, I, I mean, not that's going to be useful against me. Not that I've done much me, research or anything, but I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not uh, even though we have played the game, <laughs> and I do know now. Yes. By the time you watch this, I will know. But this is we record mm. these before we play the game. So, time um, I, yeah, um, I, 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 th I think they're mostly knockback. One of them might have a something. They mm. ought to look at the size of that. Ooh, uh, look at it. Look at the Ooh. size of that thingy. Look at it. Look at it. I mean, that's a great wallop. wallop. It should wallop. be able to scythe a couple of goblins or something out of the way with that. So. Yeah. yeah, it's the yeah. size of a goblin. For exactly, sakes. yeah. Scythe. Is it? Not scythe. Yes, it is. Well, we'll see you in the beast grape. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hello, AOS fans. We're here, ready for another game. Yeah, we're going to rattle through this one because it's getting late at uh, Agent's I'm Towers. Very tired. Very tired. Uh, so. so I won the roll off once more and I made Robin pick the board again. Yeah. And here we are. This is where we're I don't at. Know why I've we got... bother having that roll off. <laughs> it should just, just, um... just always make you pick the boards. Yeah. Well, sometimes I might want to make me play the boards first, but I guess, yeah, I should just have the, the pick of the. Pick of the, the litter or whatever it's called. So. so we're set up. You can see everything on the board. Lethal here, lethal there. They lethal. see him here, they see him there. So now it's time to roll to see who has to place the first model. And the worms back yet. Yeah. Just two doubles. Two doubles. I wonder if after our last game we've drained the dice. Oh, <laughs> very nearly hammer time. <laughs> I do win though. Mm. And I am going to go first. Oh, I think that happened last time. I'm going to put Golgoch there. Okay. Pete, I don't know what I'm doing. I said I would do it quickly. I've got absolutely no idea where to put my models. I've only got three. <laughs> it's like permutations. You probably want to put it on a, these, a combination I of these four. Put them both here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've made terrible mistakes. <laughs> I can play hidden part. Oh, shit. <laughs> wrong, wrong era. <laughs> I'm going to put Broder's Blight Blaine there. Blight Blaine Blaine Blaine. And Broder's Blight Blaine. And Matt Damon. I'm going to put... Fecular. Oh, fecula, feculi. Feculum. 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 Fecula. I'm going to put my man Tavy in there. Ooh, I'm going to put Sexypus right there. And I'm going to put Gwynny there. Ooh. Okay, so let's show you our cards. So there we go, there's the cards. It's time to roll for round one. Round one! Robin, roll away. Well, yeah, because I get a crit because I finished setting up first. Oh, no crits! No crits for you. Okay, I will go first. Okay, and you will attack with Septimus. And I will attack with... No, I'm not actually going to attack oh, with Okay. Septimus. I'm going to attack with Fecula. Fecula, Fecula, Fecula. And I'm going to shoot at uh, Tavian. Right in the front there. The two swirlies. Two swirlies. Oh, and so it begins. So it begins. Pain starts indeed. with a terrible roll. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's even more annoying? I've got I've got Sega Salvo, which is roll two lightnings. Oh, you're not gonna cast that, I'm man. never gonna get that <laughs> ever in a million years. So I've got nothing to do in my power step. Pete's got nothing to do in his power step. Okay, I'm gonna play it out flank. Ooh. Uh, step, choose a friendly fighter adjacent to another fighter and push them up to two hexes. So oh I'm just no. going to push them into there. So if I had the other way around, he attacks for three. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, so potentially I could have... One shot. Yeah. But that said, 
you could have then, you also could have done horrible damage to him. And he is my best fighter. Yeah. So yeah, if you yeah. attack the Swings and roundabouts. roundabouts. So I'm going to do that. Um, and I've then, got nothing else to play, I pass. Okay, and then my first activation, I will attack <clears throat> with Tavian. And I'm going to use... I'm going to use the Storm Smite Mace, which is three hammers. It's a crit. Which will inspire them. And just a single assist. So I do get a crit, so Tavian will inspire. Okay, so I do need a shield, or, well, I do need a crit, really. No, just a dodge, so dodge. nothing at all. So it's two damage. And push me back to the lethal for another one. And I will push you back into the lethal for another one, yes, thank you. Ouch. Oh, this isn't going very well for me. Okay, power step. I'm going to use Fulminating Blast, which Ooh. is a faction-specific distraction, and I'm just going to pop you back one more to there. Okay. I'm going to attempt to cast Segat Salvo. Okay. I need two lightnings. <laughs> you couldn't make this up, could you? You couldn't make it up. Well, we knew that was going to happen. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Back to you. Nothing for me. Nothing for me either. So on to my second go, I'm going to shoot you with um, Fecular again, I think. Double crit. Can you take a damage? I do take a damage. That is on you, and you can possibly defend it. Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, uh, no, I can't. You've got two dice. Oh, you're fine, Tavian, aren't you? Sorry. Yeah. yeah. So possibly I can get a double crit. Oh, oh no. No, but one I damage. do score Sorceress Volair. Ah, uh, well done. So one damage. One damage, and I will then use my glory to put sudden growth on Septimus. Okay, I'm going to play Spectral Wings. Oh, spooky wings. I've got nothing. So I'm not going to do anything else in the power step. I pass two. Okay, um, second activation. I am going to charge with Tavian. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five to there. Whoa. So it's three hammers, two damage. I could be in a spot of bother here. Oh, but here come the rubbish roll. Oh, Ooh, two hammers. I need a crit, I think. Oh, I get nothing. So I've done two damage and I will push you back into that lethal. Septimus is dead. Oh, glory. And I am in trouble already. And I've actually scored Wrathful Blow. Score this immediately if a um, friendly fighter's attack action takes an enemy fighter out of action. I'm in trouble. On to the power step. I'm actually going to use that glory. And I'm going to put Sanctified Armour on Brodus. What's that do? It's the uh, reduce the damage by one to a minimum of one. Okay. I've got nothing to do. Okay, I've got nothing else. Okay, so on to my third go. I'm going to charge with Golgot. One, two, three to there. Actually, I'm going to charge three to there, I think. But it's three hammers. Hammer under crit. You can't stop it. I right, you have to roll, though, because if I get a... Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Then you inspire. inspire. I don't get a crit, so that's... Um, Two damage, but it's reduced, reduced by one to one. And I will push you back to there. Okay. Charge token. I've got nothing in my power step. My third activation, I've got nothing in the power step. Third activation, I'm going to make a charge action with a Gwyn Iron Soul. Which is going to want two to there. Okay. Out, 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 out. So it's three hammers, two damage. A crit and a hammer. So I can't stop it, but can I reduce it at all? No. No. So how much damage? Uh, just two. No, did I get a crit there? I did, didn't I? So she's inspired. Ouch. Power step? I've got nothing. I'm going to play Lethal Ward. <laughs> I'm finally one inspired one. Oh, my yeah. other two peoples. What? I am going to push you back. Forgive me. Yeah, I'll let you push him back. Thank you. I'm going to, I've actually got knock back. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to push you all the way back to there. Knock back one. Yeah. And that means I score forceful banishment because I've used, driven you back using the knock back ability. Nice. Anything for you in the power step? No. Okay, nothing else for me, so on to my fourth go, and I'm going to charge with Fecula. One, two, three to there. And I'm going to shoot at Brodus Brightbane. Okay. One. one. One success. He's only got one shield. 
No, so that's another damage. And I will push you back one to here. Yes. Okay. Unfortunately, I have nothing to play though. Okay, I've got nothing to play either. My fourth and final activation, I'm going to make a charge action with Brodus. He's going to go one, two, three to there. Yeah, I was trying to work out if I could get such that I could hit you, knock you back, and then you'd be too far away to be able to hit me, but I, I can't, you can't do that with a range three attack. Right, so yes. Fecula's getting mashed in the face. Yeah, it's only two hammers though. Only. Oh! He's inspired. So I need. These are, these, what about, are so easy to inspire. <laughs> <laughs> you know right. what happened is I'll, I'll rewrite this, I'll redo this deck, say, so I inspired really very easily. I've got to get rid of yeah. uh, Brazing Soul and then, and then, and then, then I just won't be, able to, yeah, won't be able to at all. So how much damage is that? That is um, t three. three. Three damage. So unless I roll a shield here, Fecula's oh. dead. Oh, so two damage. Two damage. I, I have got knocked back one, so I will knock you back one. Anywhere in particular? Sorry, I will knock you back two. I will knock you back to the lethal there. Ow, ow, ow. Um, and um, I will also score get the heads as a result of that. Nicely done. Okay, power step. I've got nothing in the power step. Neither do I. So we're on to the end phase. You went first. I scored fired up by the skin of my teeth. <laughs> um, I haven't scored and I'm going to get rid of one fate. Just haven't got the cards to be able to make that thing. And I'm going to get rid of Eldritch Ward because there's no point in me taking that now. I'm going to put Tome of Offerings on Fecula. Vain attempt to try and stay alive. I'm going to draw two objectives and five power cards. Okay. Um, I'm going to bin Regal Vision, because generally I don't need that anymore. And did you score anything? Yes, sorry I did. Um, I've scored Strength in Unity, because every fighter has a charge token. Nice. Um, score, it's, it's a very complicated one that basically means if you've got tokens on your fighters, you can score it. That's a dual in <laughs> card. Oh, that's one that had the longest description yeah, If there are two or more surviving friendly fighters, and each surviving friendly fighter has one or more move tokens, and or each surviving friendly fighter has one or more charge tokens, and or each surviving fighter friendly fighter has one or more guard tokens, um, so basically it means if any of them if, made a basic activation. If all your fighters have a token, there you go. It's almost like keep them guessing actually, isn't it? But it's it slightly a worded like a bit more... So explicitly. Yeah, and then yeah. I scored opening gambit as well. Nice. Pick up two more glory. I'm going to keep hold of this card, and I'm going to draw two new power cards, and five new power cards. So round two, let's see what the worms back can get. Can I pull something out? Oh, probably not. Three doubles. Robin has to roll literally nothing to make this favourable for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I suppose you'll be anticipating that I'll be going first. I would be surprised if you didn't, frankly. You say that. But yeah, I think you're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna start with a charge action. Yeah. I think I've charged with old Tavian here. Go one, two, three to there. <laughs> I think that's the right play. I'm not quite sure. Don't think you can make a wrong play here. To yeah. be honest. So it's three. Three hammers. Yeah. Oh. Fecula's dead. You could get shields, could you or not? I it's only just... roll one dice. Ah, oh, okay. So even if you do so stop I, that, yeah, you push me back into the lead. Yeah, I do. So either way, she's dead. Okay, she's only got one dice. Yep. That means I don't score a fateful strike. Not that that's much consolation to you. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right, I've only got Wretchling, Well of Power, and Abyssos making, unmaking in my hand. <laughs> Anything in your power step? I'm going to put uh, Sudden Growth on Tavian. Yep. Okay, I've got nothing to do. Okay. For my first go, I'm just going to draw a power card because I have so little I can do anything with. There's no point in me trying to do anything with gold. Oh, good, Arcane Familiar. Nothing in my power step. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put the Potion of Rage on Brightbane. Second go, I'm going to charge a Brightbane to there. I think this may be game in a moment. So it's five dice, no, four dice. With cleave. This is going to be game. There's a cleave as a hammer. Crit and a hammer. Just a crit and a hammer. Well, unless I roll a crit and a shield. Oh no, crit, two crits. Yeah, he's dead. Is he? Game over. I've got four, I've got two wounds on him, so. Wow. There we go. 
The score is seven to, I don't know, Disco two. Disco Fateful Strike. Cool. <laughs> wow, that's... Two what? more there. You got two, you, didn't, you only picked oh, up yeah. one. Well, I had some terrible... I mean, right now I've got five upgrades in my hand. Um, only two of which I can put. I could have put on Golgot. One was Survival Instincts, but that wouldn't have mattered with that roll. The others were, were upgrades for Fecula. I've got Magical Storm, Chosen Warriors, which I ain't going to score, and Fateful Strike, which I wasn't going to score. That just didn't go well for me, that game. I did not get any of the cards that I needed. No, I, I'd be interested to see when you pluck when you because you do the editing whether my dice rolls were disproportionately good I don't think they were in that game I, the problem I think I had and the thing that I really need to remember with these guys and something I maybe forget is you need to get away from lethal hexes because you used it I think you used it on Septimus okay, I put Thingy through it twice and Septimus into it twice and um, Fekir into it once yeah and that's three damage I can't stop yeah and I didn't really, I didn't stop, I don't think I really stopped any in that game. So I think I might have stopped one damage in that game this time round. I didn't have the shields or stuff that I needed there. Um, I possibly should have got rid of my opening objectives, possibly. I had fired up Sorceress Volley and one fate, but I figured I could definitely score um, Sorceress Volley. And I possibly could have scored fired up, which I did do. But then the next card I picked up was Magical Storm, which is cast four spells. And I, I think I got about two spells out of that entire... I, I was quite lucky that I had that um, push two card, switch two fighters if you're adjacent to it. It's quite a nice, it's a specific card. It's choose a friendly fighter adjacent to another fighter and push them up to two hexes. Yeah, it's a nice little. It's, it's pretty good. Nice little shot. And I meant I could get a free, effectively a free attack without charging. Yeah. And then, and then so I still had the charge to follow up. And, he, and I was lucky to inspire as well. Yeah. Um, which which helped? Yeah, because you get an extra dice on the next on the next run through. I think. Yeah, because you you then also use distractions. Oh, I don't. He's three, he goes off three dot three. He goes off three anyway. Three anyway, yeah. But yeah, I used distraction to push you out of reach. Yeah. So you had, would have to have charged. Yeah. Well, and possibly well, you wouldn't have had to go back through the defects. But one thing I didn't understand is why didn't you attack Tavian first turn with with uh, Setsimus. Setsimus. Having having put him there, why didn't you just smack? Because if you hit me, then you can kill Tavian. Well, I couldn't kill him with Septimus straight away. No, but if you hit me, you can Possibly. then use Fecula to but, kill me. But I didn't, well... Because she, she does one damage. She does one damage? Yeah, so three plus one is four. Septimus doesn't do three damage. Oh, I thought you did three damage. Yeah, he does two damage. He ah, does three okay, when inspired. Ah, okay. I mean, Fair I could enough, have attacked okay. you. Fair enough. And then I could have possibly then done a second charge with Golgok or something to do another two, maybe. Yeah. If I'd, and if they had come off, then possibly... Because I felt... But Admittedly, I thought he did three damage off the bat. I felt that um, you had got a tactical advantage there because you've got Septimus right in the middle and you could hit me. Possibly that might have been the, the thing that I missed, but I had um, Sorceress Volley. So I wanted to get those two attacks off with Fecula because they don't even need to hit. You just no, have to no, no. shoot the same person twice. And if they had hit, I could have pushed you back a bit maybe, although it didn't really matter. Uh, but I would have got that glory... And at that point, I could... Well, I did. I put um, Sudden Growth on him. But it didn't matter, because I couldn't reduce the damage you did. And you knocked him out of the Lethal Hex and pushed him back into it again. So that's two damage from Lethal Hexes that I can't stop. So you only have to do two more damage to kill yeah, him. Yeah, you you almost want to be... Especially against this Warband. I don't know whether you, your deck can do it. You you want to have... This is where you want to be using your ping damage, isn't it, to get your inspiration. Yeah, but sit I, back but I didn't bit. have any of them, sit really. Back a bit. I mean, I, you helped me, because... Um, you stood on a, an objective, so I did eventually manage to. I did inspire, yeah, yeah, you did, but yeah. it didn't help in this case because the damage was already no. done. I think. But I wondered if you were a bit further back, whether I wouldn't have charged with the objective. Obviously, if you were further back, um, I might have done because I have regal vision. So it's an interesting point about regal vision. If people are starting to play lethal ward more, which I think people are, or well, you are, possibly. <laughs> so 100% <laughs> of your opponents. <laughs> always, they would say their regal vision is, is not a very good card. Possibly not, but yeah, yeah. I think maybe, I don't know whether I should have set up further back. I mean, we're both offensive, so it just seemed to be, it would delay the inevitable. One thing I do need to do, every time from now on, whenever I play Worms for Bat, and I have this, is I need to put an objective there. Yeah. That is the first thing yeah, cause I, I need well, to I can do. put one either side, but whatever you do, yeah. I can't get, I can't And if you put either. one either side, 
that's okay because then whichever near. fighter yeah. is near it, I just charge with them first, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever I'm doing, yeah. and that's what cost me. And I think that's what cost me in a lot of other games. And when I played against Rothgorn, I think I ended up getting knocked into lethal hexes a lot. And that's the thing you have to do with Wormspat is is get that ping damage on them because they can't stop that. Mm. And that's what did me in. That yeah, I think I, I, I think I it. roll reasonably well. I don't think I well, I didn't miss an attack, so that's not bad. But they do roll lots of dice. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm not. I don't think that there's decks to blame on that one. I was just unlucky that I ended up with loads of upgrades in my hand that I couldn't use, and yeah. that I didn't have any spells that I could have used in any way. Because if I'd have got Vital Surge out to reduce the amount of wounds I had by two, that would have helped maybe. That yeah, kind of thing. And, and you got Second Salvo out the wrong time. If they come out in the other or in the other way round, because Second Salvo is brilliant late in the game because it, you used it in the other game. And I'm, I'm kind of chasing you down. And I feel like I'm getting to the point where I'm going to kill you, and you rock that out, and it's like, Ugh. yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, and it, it's such just, a disappointment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> so I don't think this deck's a problem. Although I think there's a couple of cards in here that aren't well suited against people like you, because there's <laughs> your type. <laughs> because there's the one where you have to have three dead enemies, and you still have one person alive, like. Well, if I've done yeah. that, I'm not really going to care. I've got the one, it's worth two glory if I kill half the warband, which in your case is two thirds of your warband. Yeah. And that's hard. Well, it's hard. I say it's, I say it's, it's hard. hard. It's not quite as hard as mine, and yeah, you say it's hard, but you just, <laughs> you just did that. So, but I mean, after that, how many more glory could you score? Because you're up to you're up to about nine at the well, minute. Well, I would have scored Vengeance Satisfied, because at the end of that turn, that's yeah. worth two. I couldn't score Bold Conquest anymore, because you were all dead. Um, I couldn't score fate. I, I, I just score Fateful Strike. So I don't know if I took the glory for that. You did. I yeah. couldn't score your turn anymore. No. Um, and I would have at the end. I would have scored conquest fired up and solid gains probably because of conquest would have been. Would easy. you have scored solid gains though? Well, I think if, 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 if they, they were the last conquest. three cards, then yeah, I would have done. Then you would have done. But if, if it was the bottom card, then I might not. No, your turn was the bottom. So assuming I had thrown, I, I think I would have done because I'd have thrown those away and I'd have drawn those three. See, having it even wiped me out, you probably wouldn't have even hit fifteen glory with all of that and it's like Grimwatch can score 15 I know I keep saying Grimwatch 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 yeah. but you know you've wiped me out completely and still you probably yeah, I think somewhere on the line there, I actually forgot to play Tome of Offerings because <laughs> 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 I've had two goes so I think, and I had it in my hands so I think second go I should, I should have put Tome of Offerings on to be honest it was at that point that if it, it didn't matter no you just had to get an attack off and you did so there you go, guys. There's a really swift game for you. That's what it's like when That's things brilliant. go. That's great for the editing. That gets the content up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we it's need more because you you um, absolutely um, you absolutely destroyed me last week very, in very short order, didn't you? you yeah, although the, the games mind. weren't short. Okay. I don't know if it's just we nattered a lot afterwards. Was game was go- I know but I was quite. They were both about an hour <laughs> worth of video, okay, so I can't. Yeah, and I appreciate last week uh, you had some terrible get, luck. Take, go, and game two in that so, game. I was just like. Uh, like, you can you just finish full... it off and get it over exactly. and done you with? you got the full uh, fecular spam. Yeah, so, so last week, you know, group Worms Bat won both games. This time round, the first game was really close. Second game, not so much. You win some, you lose some. What yeah, can I, I say? I do think you need to sit back with the Worms Bat a little bit more because they got like paper bags at the beginning, aren't they? They're, 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 they're not. The main thing, I think, is that, or my main issue is quite often I play with war bands that have lots of fighters, low wounds, and I don't care if they die. So you if I end up leaving someone next to a lethal hex, ma- you haven't got that I'm mentality. like, oh, you've, you've, or- you've done two damage to him, it doesn't matter he's near a lethal hex, he's already dead. Mm. But these guys, it matters. And I need to get into that habit of staying away from lethal hexes when I'm playing with smaller, more elite war bands, because those, those ping damage matter a lot. So yes. I need to, need to get that my head around that. I think. Yeah, because I think I probably wouldn't place a lethal hex necessarily, except they're very useful against you. Yeah. Um, because. Uh, well, especially uh, when you've got that that bit there where you can place it, yeah. and there's two people there, and yeah. So I think I just need to try and remember more lethal hex placement when I'm playing more elite war bands like this. So need to work on that one. Homework for next time. For Indeed. next week, we're going to have some Patreon Woo! players coming in to play us, and hopefully I'll have worked out what to do with Lethal Hexes by then. One of them might be bringing a Loot and Scoop deck, Robin. Whoa. Ooh, scoop. I'm not bringing a Condemners to face that. <laughs> <laughs> that would be embarrassing. I think Hrothgorn needs to come out come out to play. I think I probably will bring Hrothgorn to that game. Hrothgorn, come out to play, <laughs> eh? <laughs> and I, I kind of feel okay, it's a, a meta deck, this, ba- this Warband that I've just played would be terrible. Yeah. Imagine trying to play against the Grimwatch. 
Yeah, I mean, even if you kill someone with every hit, you're just not going to score the same as Grimwatch or the no, Loot I mean, Scoop. You could potentially get a nice tome of Offred going. Uh, but even then, I yeah. think you've got a, you've literally almost got to kill someone with every swing. Even with Tome of Glories, yeah. you can normally only charge once, and if your opponent's not done, they're not going to leave someone standing no. next to you. So it's no, really I have hard. got a few cards to shift you around. Shift you around, but they're, you, know, you need a lot. And, and and with Skaven, there's not a lot of bodies on the board. There's only five members in the warband, and yeah, if your opponent's yeah, yeah. canny, he'll yeah. move them all right. I have but got I... Mischievous Spirits in the deck. Yeah, uh, that helps. Which hasn't, didn't need to come out in, the, in our games. No. I was hoping I was going to get to use it at the end of game two, Although, and use it to put, uh, end of game one, rather, to put when you know, I was hoping you'd get on an objective, and I oh, have yeah. Mischievous Spirits. And then you could have gone, <laughs> Although, generally, I mean, that helps me a little bit, because then I might be able to shift one of your people under an objective, and then use Lethal Ward, but... Yes. But I haven't needed yeah, to, no, so... no. I hope you guys enjoyed what little game there was there. We probably talked for longer than we played. <laughs> so we're going to head off now and we'll see you soon in the Beast Grave. <laughs>